I love non-transferable lipsticks because you can actually kiss your kitty and it's okay. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mariam, or welcome to my channel if it's your first time seeing me. In today's video, I am going to be going over my top 10 favorite red lipsticks for medium skin tones. The reason why I say medium skin tones is because I am a medium skin tone. I will also be mentioning a lot of universal red lipsticks that will look good on just about anyone. Let's get to this video. Remember to subscribe, comment down below if you have any questions. Let me know what are some of your favorite red lipsticks. I love you guys, let's get to it. All right, so the first lipstick that I want to talk about is the one that I am currently wearing on my lips, and it is this beautiful MAC lipstick in collaboration with Nima Tang. If you guys don't know who Nima Tang is, you should absolutely check her out. She is a YouTuber, she is an influencer. It's perfect for those of us with deeper skin tones, for those of us on the lighter side, and for those of us who fit into the medium tan spectrum like I do. I find that this lipstick is perfect for not just day, for not just night, but for any occasion. It's not one of those reds that is super overpowering, that's gonna draw too much attention to your lips. MAC X Nima Tang is 1850, or it might be 1950 because it's a collab. It might be limited edition. I was almost a little hesitant including an influencer collab lipstick in this video just because it might be hard to get your hands on it. Once a year passes after this video is live, you know what I'm trying to say. This color is just so pretty that if you guys can get your hands on it regardless of your skin tone get your hands on it the next lipstick that I want to show you guys is a classic and it is a beauty I believe this is another universal shade of red I'm talking about none other than Lancome L'Absolu Rouge in the shade Caprice this is their cream lipstick it's a classic it's been in existence for many many years and I would say this is a statement red lip this is the kind of lip that you would wear to a date or perhaps to a gala or a gala as some people like to say it's also great for the holidays definitely brings the whole look together it kind of just brightens up the face the finish on this lipstick is a little bit more shiny definitely has a little bit of a sheen a little bit of a glow it's definitely a nighttime go-to lipstick this lipstick retails for $32 put it on your Christmas wish list and tell somebody drop them a hint hint because I feel like it's a must-have so since we know that no two red lipsticks are the same I want to show you my third option in no particular order but this one is the one lipstick that makes me feel super duper edgy even though it's red I am talking about lime crime retro futurist this lipstick has almost a neon glow in the dark glow from within kind of effect it definitely does something different to the face that other reds don't necessarily do and the more you layer this lipstick on the more vibrant and the more juicy it appears that's what I really like about this particular color it just looks kind of emo and kind of badass it definitely makes your teeth look whiter it makes your skin look clear this lime crime retro futurist lipstick retails for $18 it is a creamy shiny type of formula very similar to the previous one that I showed I would say it's a color that would look best on a lighter to medium tan skin tones with deeper skin tones I would do an ombre lip I would do a darker outline and this color in the center for that nice 3D sort of pop. Mwah. A few years ago when I first started blogging, Lime Crime was one of the first brands to send me products. And when I discovered this lipstick, Retro Futurist, I was absolutely obsessed. It still gives me that same sort of feeling. I am using a different lip liner for this next lipstick because the next lipstick that I'm about to apply has a little bit more of a brick. So more of a yellow base rather than a blue base. So Nars Mariachi is the one that I'm going with for this next lipstick. The next lipstick that I want to show you is none other than Fenty Beauty Madame. Madame, she fine. Madame is kind of similar to Nima Tang's collaboration lipstick with MAC. Madame is just a little bit darker and it's just a little bit more opaque. Although it's a neutral red, it still leans a little brick. Whereas Nima's has more blue and it's just a little bit more bright. This is another universally flattering red that would look great on pretty much any skin tone, especially medium, tan, and deeper skin tones. I quite like this one. I would wear this one during the day or at night. I think it's fitting for any occasion. If you're afraid of that bold color, I would suggest try Madame. It'll make you feel some type of way. Madame 
by Fenty Beauty. Retails for $18. It is a Mademoiselle. Damn, I love me some reds. I could talk about reds all day. When it comes to drugstore red lipsticks, there's really only one that comes to mind. I actually don't have it on me. I don't know what I did with it. I might have lost it. I need to get it back because it's an issue. I'm talking about none other than Revlon's Fire and Ice. This lipstick has been in existence since 1952 and it's absolutely breathtaking. This color is neither cool nor warm, super flattering on pretty much any skin tone and it's got that really nice pop, almost like Lime Crime's Retro Futurist where it's glowing from within, it has that neon sort of factor. But because I couldn't find it, I am not gonna talk about it anymore. The lipstick that I currently have on my lips right now is another drugstore that I just recently found and it's CoverGirl Demi Matte Lipstick in Worthy. It's actually a really good daytime option for pretty much any skin tone. It might be a little too brick on lighter skin tones. For me, this would be a really good, I'm running out the door, but I need to look good during the day kind of red lipstick. This one retails for about four to five to six dollars. Get yourself worthy by CoverGirl and get your hands on that Fire and Ice by Revlon. That one is my ultimate fave from the drugstore. I can't go on without mentioning Lisa Eldridge's new velvet lipsticks. These are the most unique lipsticks I have ever seen in my life. Although these lipsticks are matte, the outer shell of this lipstick looks like it's made out of velvet. It's really unique and it's really different. Plus the colors are some of the most gorgeous colors. Unfortunately, they are all sold out at the moment. I didn't want to try them on and tease you and tempt you. Just wanted to show you and tell you about them. Plus I used Velvet Ribbon, this red, in my classic Christmas makeup look tutorial. I will link the video up here for you guys to check it out. When these babies come back, you guys gotta get your hands on them. The first liquid lipstick that I want to mention, actually it's going to be two, and they are both from Pixie. If you guys have been watching my videos for a while, then you know I am a huge fan of Pixie's liquid lipstick formula, and recently they just extended their shades and they've added some reds and some pinks. I am particularly into this shade called Orange Red. Obviously it leans orange, so it's not a cooler red. It's a much warmer, much brighter type of red, which is particularly flattering on medium to tan skin tones. Let me give you a little gem. This type of color is the type of color that makes your imperfections magically and visibly disappear. It's an optical illusion. Because this color is so vibrant and so bright, all the attention will go to the color. Isn't that brilliant? It's part of the reason why I love orange red so much. They don't necessarily make your teeth look whiter, but they make your skin look better. So choose wisely. If you're not into orange reds, however, Pixie does have a real red, more of a bluish red type of color, which is also very flattering and very beautiful on pretty much anyone. The reason why I love these is because obviously, the formula is great, non-transferable. You can eat, drink, kiss, not necessarily make out, but you can do a lot of things with your mouth. Whoa, that sounded wrong. I meant it very PG, I swear. $14, they're available at Target. Pick them up. Okay, you guys, you ready for my favorite red of all time? Here goes. I am talking about Stila Beso Liquid Lipstick. I love this color for a long time. This is one of the most flattering lipsticks on my medium to tan skin tone. It looks great on me when I'm at my winter's palest. It looks brilliant on me when I am at my summer's tannest. It just does everything for me. It makes my teeth look whiter. It makes my skin look brighter. It gets the most compliments of any red lipstick that I've ever worn. When I tell you that the formula of this liquid lipstick is amazing, I am not lying. This is constantly sold out. I believe you can get it on Amazon. It's around $22 to $24. You gotta get your hands on it. If you're a makeup artist, this must be in your arsenal. I don't even wanna take it off. That's how much I love it. I have an amazing lipstick lined up for you, and it is the Bomb Cosmetics Devoted Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick. I love this color so much. It's almost like a poppy type of red. It's got a 
little bit of a pink undertone. It's extremely versatile. It makes you feel kind of youthful and kind of playful. It would look good with a cat eye or with a smoky eye or with no makeup at all. It would just kind of brighten up your whole look. This liquid lipstick actually feels a little bit minty, like a peppermint type of vibe on the lips when you apply it on. So when I applied it after seven colors that I had to remove with Missler water, it is a welcome feeling. I would also say that these liquid lipsticks from the Bomb Cosmetics are very underrated. You can get these at Walmart, I believe, probably also at Ulta, but I hardly ever see people talking about them. I believe they're around 18 to 22, possibly $24 at the most, and they are some of the prettiest colors, some of the nicest formulas out there. I've got two more lipsticks I want to show you, one of which may or may not be discontinued, and it is this Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade XO from Kat Von D. This is one of the darkest reds that I am reviewing without actually getting in the category of wine, but it is such a pretty ruby sort of red. It retails for $20. I think this red is a little bit too dark for the lighter skin tones. I think it'll come off a little bit too wine or too deep looking for it to represent a true red, but I think for medium to tan to deeper skin tones, this is actually a really nice option. This can be worn very Vampy. This can be worn with darker type of makeup for a little bit more of a colder look. My lips are lined again. I forgot. Sorry, sue me guys. We have come to the final lipstick of the 10. And this is my new current favorite lipstick that I just recently discovered. It is NARS Power Matte Lip Pigment in the shade Don't Stop. Not only do I love this packaging, not only do I love this wand, not only do I love the formula, but I am obsessed with the color. If you guys have been watching my videos for a while, then you might remember this lipstick from my video with Melissa Alatori and my Lily. It is the video where drunk me and drunk Melissa applied makeup on drunk Lee. This was the color that he was wearing. This was also the color that I was wearing in that video. And ever since, I couldn't stop wearing this color. It's just so pretty, it's so classic, but it's got that NARS edge. So it's not like too pristine classic. It's just right. This lipstick runs for $26. It also has a lip vinyl glossy counterpart called Red District, which I've worn before. I'm going to pop in a picture right here for you guys to check out. It's another super, super pretty red, but in a glossy formula. Very, very pigmented. So I hope you guys enjoyed this compilation of my top 10 favorite red lipsticks for medium skin tones, as well as universally flattering lipsticks that any one of us can wear. Let me know if you guys would like to see a series on my top 10, perhaps favorite nude lipsticks or maybe my favorite coral lipsticks. Let me know down below. I love you guys so much. Check out some of my other videos right here. Some more tutorials, some Christmas looks for you. You name it, I've got it and I will see you very soon. Mwah.